Hey there guys, uh, so I thought I'd give you a quick update uh, on what's going on. Um, so I am uh, still going to be releasing another video to show you guys how to make your own slot machine. Uh, this is one of the projects that I've had running at the moment, thought I'd give you a little update. Um, as soon as I've got a couple of machines all up and running, um, then I'll get on with the editing of the, because it, cause it is a really big project. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, you, you start this and you're going to be on it for, a, you know, a little while, a good couple of weeks, maybe a month or two. Um, but it really is worth it. When you have the power to design your own machines, you no longer have your world is your imagination you can recreate any machine you want um you could do anything that you like um so anyway so the, the slot machine that i've been running sorry programming uh and recreating at the moment is an igt slot that i found in vegas when i went there uh it was really really good uh, possibly the reason it was so good is that you sat in the huge chair and it had both speakers all around you and you really got immersed in the sound so sound was a real important factor for this one uh, so uh, as soon as I show you what I've done um, hopefully you'll realize why I feel that the sound is is the best uh, you know element shall we say what one of the best elements you know obviously you can't have a crap graphics uh but really good sound um you know the same as you can't have really really good graphics but really rubbish sounds you know but it really does add elements to it so yeah, this is uh, an advert for the joker's high slot machine by igt uh in vegas um and this is what this one's based off so if you can see any similarities uh let me know what you like or dislike about it uh, uh with my machine for example like you know how how much you think it, it actually replicates uh obviously there is small deviations uh layout for example uh, you know down the bottom i've got the spin button purely because there is no spin button on the igt version that you can press on the screen uh, but that will eventually be used uh, as a push button uh yeah you know and little other little bits um, but at the moment I've got the reels down pretty good I just need to change the low values as you can see I've got like uh, the default um, sprites there which shouldn't be like that it should be like grenades and guns and things like that um, but that that's literally a minor detail and I, I want to you know re re-edit the sprites so that's why they're not done just yet so anyway, this is uh, the Joker's heist Enter the Joker's world of mayhem and destruction in one of IGT's edgiest videos. Let's, re let's restart it. Enter the Joker's world of mayhem and destruction in one of IGT's edgiest video slots. At only 45 credits per spin, the Joker Heist video slot takes you for an unforgettable ride of anarchy with its five reel, 30 pay line game plus 15 credit side bet. It'll be fun trying to recreate this. Because I don't know what's going to happen to you either. In the base game, Harvey Dent as Two-Face uses the ricochet of his bullets to turn symbols into wilds. Batman gets in on the action too when the tumbler explodes onto the screen, crashing through symbols and jumping through fire to award random wilds. The Joker has his own fun when the big wheel bonus event is triggered. All it takes is a little push. Okay, so yep, so that's that's that basically um, up until this point. Um, I haven't done any further than this, so it's basically the real. This is now going on to the features on this video here. So I'll show you what I've built here so far. So as you push the spin button, obviously as you can see, they go around, which is always a good start. I've uh, got me little um, ha ha particles in there. Um, I think that is the wrong sprite. If I want to be totally accurate, I believe it's the Batman symbol, the Joker's heist written in that acts as the wild. And then this wild turns up when Harvey Two-Face 
shoots the symbols or uh, the Batmobile drives through the reels on each symbol and then it turns into that symbol. Um, so that is something I think I need to change, but um, I've only just really thought about it I'm just watching that video. So anyway, hopefully you'll see the suspense happen, which is when the two bonuses arrive on reel one and reel two. Now obviously we've got reel two and three there with bonuses on, that's not going to do anything. Um, you know, reel two, even if... So reel one gets something in, it plays a, a laugh, and then the particles appear there um, to show where it's appeared, um, and then again if that one doesn't appear but then reel two has a scatter it doesn't do anything it doesn't play a sound and it won't play the, the particles oh i'm playing on yes yeah, another little bug that i've got which is really annoying So anyway, yeah, so we've got the um, the bet amounts down here. Uh, instead of the 45 cents a, a, a go, I've put it to the like sort of B3 category. Uh, so I've added the progressive up the top there. But then I've also got the 20 pence, 50 pence, pound and two pound bets um, to, to play with. So yeah, that was the uh, that was the suspense. I've got to change the volume a little bit because um, that music is a bit more overpowering than the sound of the laugh, which should be the main element of the the real spinning, I believe, um, because you know that that laugh is what creates the suspense. The suspense is what creates the enjoyment. So at the moment, if you do get three bonus symbols in, it just gives you the mini jackpot up the top there. Uh, but I will be adding in the features that you see on the Joker's Heist, uh, like the duffel bag bonus, uh, the sonic sonar, uh, and the big wheel. And the big wheel is going to include these jackpots, which is why they're there now. And that's that, we're out of money. You have no money. But yeah, so uh, hopefully you liked what you saw there. Um, it has um, the, the, the main, the base element of this uh, script was uh, um, like a template script with the running slots. Um, they didn't run in any kind of order. They didn't. Um, and, you know, it sort of went, doo, 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 you know, and it had funny noises, and it was, you know, the the end uh, client isn't as powerful as the what the the main script on this is. Just, whew, I couldn't even fathom what half of the script is. Um, however, you are able to sort of see where bits and pieces happen, uh, change. Um, elements of it which then give you power to do more um, so I mean I've just been doing this today this is this is one day's um, effort um, as of about an hour ago all it had was the um, the suspense so it had the laugh but no particles appear on the bonus symbol They've now been attached to a ray cast, which then detect where the symbol has appeared. So then, then it can actually give you um, the specific particles that appear in the right place. Um, same with real two, and then but that that particle there that's been there for a couple of hours when that when it slows down does that slow spin. Um, real real five. Uh, has had those particles there because it's been the whole reel but it's only been the last sort of hour or two that I've managed to 
work out uh, whether it's in top, middle or bottom raycast, tell it to look for it there and then to display the particles at that given point. Uh, all very complicated I know but um, this is going to be something that I'm going to be going over um, sort of just showing you exactly what I've done so then hopefully you can replicate it um, and, and, and give yourself a fighting chance like if you don't know how to to use Unity, if you don't know how to use um, the, the the C plus or C sharp <coughs> language, then um, yeah, it gives you a fighting chance to to learn. Because um, I don't, I've, I never went to university. I never went to uh, well, I went to university, but I didn't learn this. Um, it was like PHP. I was doing web design, um, but it's it's totally different and and. Um, the closest I got to it was when I learned how to program an Arduino. But again, it's all basic stuff. I haven't been able to, other than my coin pusher um, that I built. But that was learning on the fly. It was adding little bits, and that's what this is. You know, you, you're never going to have a finished slot machine like this without putting the effort in. And I've been sat here for the, like, the last sort of 12 hours just sort of mucking around seeing what I can change making it look as as, as authentic as I can um, but then you do it bit by bit and you might spend an hour trying to work out how a certain element works and how you can modify it to uh, do what you want it to do but at the same time you've got to be willing to put that t you've got to be dedicated to put that time in to find that you know how that works you know, so for as an example, um, this is the script that it runs on. Um, group behavior, where are we at? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Got to find it now. Okay, yeah, so um, with this, uh, to, to find out how um, to get the machine to work out where the scatter has landed, I've had to wait until the scatter lands, um, and uh, no, it's not, this is the debug. So this was something that was included in this version of Unity, uh, so the slot machine you um where it actually shows you a debug and it actually shows you what is coming in next uh, but again you can't you can't just say well oh, I know it's coming in real one middle you know you, you've got to find the bit of code that says well actually this is where that happens you know so then what I've done is you know you have to go by scene manager to tell it which slot machine you're actually working on which is that bit there um, and then the i here is an int, uh, just a temporary integer, uh, and it's equivalent to the um, the real number. So it goes from zero, one, two, three, and four. So it's ba so this basically says if real number is zero, which is real one, and symbol id equals ten, which I've got my symbol id uh, ten as my bonus symbol, and then this this r here is the raycaster so it also has um, the integer r there and the raycaster length so if ray if the if real one and raycast two has a scatter in it in the debug then we know that real one or I've called it real zero because that's the, the actual name of it real zero which is real one top scatter is true uh, and the same real middle, real zero middle scatter true, um, real zero bottom scatter. So then what that does is that then tells me whenever you spin on here, this will automatically update before the uh, the reels actually land on the position that they're going to end in. Um, and if that one's lit and that one's lit, it will know that it has to when that reel actually stops and the scatter comes in it knows that reel 
one middle has to display um, the particle effect, which is Oh no, wrong real, that's real one. That one, and there, and there, then there it goes. Oh yeah, it's, it's all good fun, you know, but you've got to be, um, got to be dedicated. And then eventually this is all going to go into um, a cabinet. I was going to show you the one like over there because it's not there anymore, which is really handy uh, for the purposes of this video, not. Um, but yeah, I have built that, there's, there's another video on here with the King of Games in it. Um, it's going to be similar to that. And it's going to have a screen. It's going to have a hopper, coin mech. Um, I don't know if I can do a, a note mech. I've never done one of those into an Arduino before. And it's all going to communicate via serial link, um, you know, push buttons, coin acceptance, coin payout on a big screen, nice speakers. You've got yourself a working <laughs> slot machine that you just built yourself. And you can do that as well. And I will show you how to do that. Alright guys, well anyway, well thanks very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that, um, and uh, yeah, uh, see you on the flip side, see you later.